The Congress of Vienna by Jared Leong. After Napoleon's unsuccessful invasion of Russia and his loss of 400,000 men, Napoleon's strength was questioned until he defeated his enemies at home and raised an additional 350,000 troops. Regardless of his efforts at home, Russia, Prussia, Austria, Spain, and Great Britain formed coalitions and armies against France. Russia came in from the east along with Prussia and Austria. Spain joined in from the western front, all while Great Britain funded some of the war effort. The fighting eventually led to Napoleon's exilement from France to an island called Elba. With Napoleon out of the way, the Third Coalition decided to hold a meeting in Austria in the city of Vienna, an event during which a few key players attempted to lead Europe's future in the right direction whilst mitigating the damage of a lot of angry countries. The meeting consisted of five key players. Clemens von Metternich was an Austrian prince who acted as the host. King Frederick William III represented Prussia. Tsar Alexander I was the Emperor of Russia. Viscount Castlereagh was the Foreign Minister of Great Britain, and Charles Morris de Talleyrand was the Foreign Minister of France. These five representatives created what is known as the Congress of Vienna, which took place in September 1815. Their main issue was France and its sudden rise in power. They all agreed that no single state should be allowed to dominate all of Europe. In other words, a balance of power. But how would they achieve that? By putting a crown on France. A bourbon one at that. Now, the reason behind this was to address the idea of legitimacy. See, Napoleon was born a normal citizen. As he grew older, became more experienced, and conquered more lands. He was still, well, a normal citizen. Each country also wanted compensation for the mess he caused. France had messed up the territorial holdings of various countries. Each country wanted their respective lands back, so the Congress fixed up the borders to what they were before Napoleon's reign with some altercations. 700 million francs were also paid to the various countries that France had affected. The meeting also led to the desire of returning to the past. By changing what the French Revolution had done, and attempting to turn back time essentially, the countries are looking for a return to a conservative state of life, basically reinstating life during the Anshan regime. Of course, Napoleon escapes Elba to crash a party in France at a stud. 